Hey guys, I made a quick iMovie um, demonstration video to show you how to do some editing. Once you've downloaded the iMovie app, click the plus button and it'll give you the option to do a movie or a trailer. I always do movie, it doesn't really matter. Um, then you'll have an option to add content from your phone. So if you're taking everything on your phone, you'll have everything you need. So here I have examples of um, drawing videos, um, time lapses, and then what I do is I screen capture or screen print um, parts of my slideshow presentation so it's just on my phone and I can upload it that way. So once you've created a movie you'll see that all the still images automatically go to a Ken Burns effect which is super annoying. I don't like when it moves. So what I always do is turn it off. So I select the clip and I click the bottom right and disenable it or something. Um, then from here you can like zoom in and zoom out if you want to like zoom in on something. You just select the slide and click the plus button on the top right. Um, if you want to add more content, you just click the plus button and you have things from your photos again or your phone again. So video, um, pictures, but here I clicked um, voiceover. So this is what I do. I make a slide, then I narrate it. So here's an example of it, like recording what I would be talking about. And then once you've recorded everything, you just click accept, review, or um, retake. And then if you push play, you'll hear yourself talking. So if you find a quiet spot in your house, um, you can edit that. Um, so here's another pro tip. Sometimes things will get uploaded sideways. So what you have to do is you have to just select it and you have to turn it and rotate it. To do that, you have to put two fingers on the actual picture and then twist and rotate. Um, so I'll explain that um, later on, I believe. Um, so am I explaining that now? What am I showing you? Oh, I think there's different options at the bottom. Oh, so what I'm showing you right now are the different editing options. So if you select the slide and look at the bottom, you have all these different options of adding text, um, uh, uh, at changing the speed, um, so it'll increase and decrease the length, and some other options there. Um, so yeah, just kind of play around with, once you select a clip, you'll have all these different options. So when the clip is selected, it'll be have a yellow box around it, and you can change it. Um, so like play around with that. You'll see all the different options and features. Okay, here's how you rotate. Again, this is important. So once you have the clip selected, put your two fingers on the actual clip and then turn it and rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise and it'll spin it. If that doesn't make sense, watch a clip on YouTube on how to do that. That'll be really, really helpful. Um, um, so here's some other editing options on that gear. If you click the gear, you'll have options of going to different themes. Um, to make super cheesy music. Um, I always turn the fade on, at, but which is below that, so it fades in and out. Um, or you can make your own music on the background. I, I stopped adding music a while ago, just because it was cheesy, and I didn't want it to distract from my voice. Um, so, yeah, so once you're done with your video, uh, you're gonna upload it to YouTube, at least that's what I do. I usually change the settings to HD, so full definition, um, and then make sure it's public, so it's not private. If it's private, only you can see it. And then I copy that link and put it wherever you want it to be. It'll take a few minutes to export depending on the file size. If it's really big, it'll take a long time. But if it's just five minutes, it might take five to ten minutes to upload. I hope that was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me or contact me otherwise. Take care.